Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to Spiders Diecast. Um, hopefully, all of y'all have had a wonderful Labor Day so far. Uh, me, I'm just trying to get through it the best way I can. The way that I will do that, however, is treat y'all to another Ferrari feature. Something I hadn't done in a while. Uh, let me put a car up. So, yeah, um, so y'all won't be looking at a blank screen. Uh, anyway, I've already done my 60s and 70s Ferrari feature. I've already done my 80s Ferraris. So now, um, this will be this video will be featuring Ferraris from the 1990s. So, um, without further ado, we're going to jump things off. Uh, into uh, jump things off to my Ferrari 456M right here, which is a very nice looking you know car if I do say so myself. A very well done casting. Um, in my opinion, for um, Hot Wheels was just you know knocking it right out of the park uh, with these castings. I mean, this is the best, to me, this is the best era for Hot Wheels Ferraris. Ferrari 456M, there's our base, our metal base, which obviously gives it some extra weight. So yeah, and these are still very affordable, pretty affordable, uh, relatively speaking. If you want, you're interested in starting, you know, a Ferrari collection. Um, it starts right here, in my opinion, and you definitely won't be disappointed. So this is my Ferrari 456M. This right here is my Ferrari 550 Marinello, which is named after the the town the the town that's right outside of uh, Enzo Ferrari's hometown of Modena, Italy. Uh, Marinello is also the headquarters of four Ferrari. So yeah, another a well done Ferrari casting from Hot Wheels. I also have this in silver with a red interior, by the way. Uh, this is pretty nice. And the defining feature for this casting for myself is uh, the, those leather straps uh, behind the seats that you know you use to hold down your luggage with your expensive luggage. I might you know, imagine. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty awesome. My 550 Marinello. And these right here are my Ferrari 360 Modenas. Of course, we went over, you know, Modena, Italy being Enzo Ferrari's hometown. Uh, this is the car's actual name, which, you know, it was named after, of course. This red one, this came straight out the 1999 first editions uh, set. Got the classic Ferrari red, the Rosa Corsa uh, red, and then it also has a metal base, but this is painted in a very nice matte black. And uh, this right here is actually a premium version. This is actually from the Got Speed series from the um, early 2000s. It showcased a lot of different sports cars in that set. This was uh, one of them with this uh, metallic gray with the tan interior and this sweet looking engine right there. Just look at that detail. And then uh, painted, you know, front and rear, uh, rear lights, real riders. So, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite Ferraris because of the, the body lines. Pretty nice. And 
And then this is your, uh, if you're familiar with the channel, been here a while, um, you probably recognize me, you know, constantly um, uh, pulling this out and showing it to y'all. This is my, this is of course my Ferrari F50, which uh, celebrates the 50th anniversary of Ferrari. Um, much like what uh, the Ferrari F40 did for the 40th anniversary. So yeah, this is my favorite uh, version of the F50 and the Hot Wheels lineup. Very nice, very spectacular, I might add. So yeah, um, my Ferrari F50, great looking wheels too. And this right here is my um, Ferrari 348. We'll get to the story in a little bit. This is my Ferrari 348 TB. But this ain't like the other uh, 348 casting. The Hot Wheels actually had two of them. That other one that came first is more or so like a, a homegrown one, so to speak. This this one, however, it was uh, bought bought out by uh, from Corgi, so this is a Corgi casting, uh, technically speaking. But a funny thing is, funny enough, I actually prefer that over the original 348 casting. I just thought this one was much better done. And it also even has an opening uh, engine cover to showcase that uh, V8. Yeah, the girl right here, uh, she's a little beat up, but we're going to give her a little TLC, little TLC pretty soon enough. So, yeah, that's my 348. And then we move on to our Ferrari F355 Challenges. Now this is not the 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 F three fifty five Berlinetta, which it was, which was the standard F three fifty five. However, you know, of course, like I just stated a minute ago, this is the Challenge, which is the actual racing version of the F three fifty five. And no, it was not street legal, but you could keep it at the the headquarters at Marinello, and then take it on the their Fiorano racetrack. So, yeah. Pretty cool. This is probably my favorite version of it. This yellow with the Italian stripes. Number seven. But, you know, you still can't really rule out this uh, red one with these, these uh, yellow flames on it. I think that looks pretty dope, too. And of course, yeah, metal base. So yeah, pretty awesome, pretty well detailed. Looks you know just like the real thing. And yeah, it got a roll cage too, right uh, behind the seats. So yeah, that's my F three fifty five challenge. I'm getting through these very quickly. This is my F three fifty five Spider, which has a lot of chock full of detail look at that steering wheel and then it got you know all different buttons in the center console it even got uh, door panels uh, with these well defined door handles pretty awesome I got these in a lot of different colors but you know um, I just wanted to show this red one just for time constraints there's the metal base. One of my favorite spiders of one of my favorite cars, period. The F355 uh, spider. And then we got some more F355s. This is just turned into a F355 uh, Bonanza. But these are the F355s from uh, Tomica Premium which is a step up from your um, standard Tomica castings. Very well detailed. 
definitely easily one of my favorite cars in you know my entire collection and yes just like most Homica uh, castings it has a working suspension and it's 162nd scale but that's not all folks uh, we got more and bam we got this baby right there in gray, um, which is my Ferrari F355 Berlinetta from um, Tomica Limited Vintage, which is not cheap. It ain't cheap, you know, by a long shot, but I just really like this uh, car right here. That's pretty nice. And you can see how the one from Tomica Premium is just a little bit bigger. But, you know, uh, this one clearly, uh, of course, has more detail. Uh, it actually has side mirrors. Got uh, even, even better defined wheels. Headlight, uh, jeweled headlights and um, taillights. Got some information on the bottom. And yes, it has a, a working suspension as well. And oh yeah, uh, for the PS de Resistance, we got the, this nice looking V8 engine. Much less, much how I showed you with that Corgi 348. So yeah, um, I also have the Spider version of this. Planning on adding more of uh, Tomica Limited TLV Ferraris from the Limited Vintage um, definitely want to stack my collection up on those so anyway that just about does it for today uh, hopefully you enjoyed my Ferraris from the 90's uh, hopefully you enjoyed yourself maybe even want to start your own Ferrari collection um, if you have, you know, saved up and have the courage to do it, I definitely encourage you to do so. Me being a, a big time Ferraristi myself. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you hadn't already. The option is always available. Uh, leave a like. Share this video with your friends and loved ones who are searching for uh, quality diecast content. So, I'm going to get my butt on out of here. Um, and, um, have a great Labor Day. A great rest of your Labor Day. And I'll see y'all later. Mm. Have a good one, folks. Haha. <laughs>